here we are, Moosehead Lake. It's really quite beautiful here. Look, he's got a tiny house. Which is on pontoons, which is on a houseboat. Okay. And look, we're coming inside the tiny house. I'm gonna close the door. Oh, well, we cooked breakfast earlier. So. We made some eggs and we made some toast in the toaster oven. Look at those windows. That's the induction hot plate. This is the refrigerator freezer down in there in that corner. So we've got part of the kitchen with our kitchen cabinets. When you walk into the kitchen, you see the yellow throw cushion on the left and you see the butcher block countertop. We had the corners of the countertop rounded to make it easier to get around the kitchen. You can also see the IKEA drawers. We cut out the dead space behind the drawers to add more space in the kitchen. The refrigerator freezer has about five cubic feet of space and it runs on alternating current. Notice how we had the corners of the counter scooped out to make more room to be able to get closer to the sink. Now the sink works off a foot pump, which is really nice. So that foot pump, you simply press your foot down and you can hear the water and the water comes out and it actually comes out heated right now. See that's the water that comes out because you see that trim behind the thermos behind the sink. The trim behind the sink covers up two strands of tubing. The first strand connects to the foot pump. As you pump the water up from the lake, the water goes through the first strand of tubing and into the area between the ceiling and the panels. This region is very warm during the day and warms about a gallon's worth of tubing that is sitting up there before the water heads down the second strand of tubing and into the sink faucet and hence we get warm water when we use the sink in the middle of the day. You can hear a little fan going on right now. That's a ventilating fan to cool off the air space above the ceiling and between the ceiling and the solar panels which make the roof of the house. And this right here is a controller that basically turns the vent on automatically as soon as the temperature reaches a specified value. Right now it's 116 degrees and of course that vent is on. When the temperature above the ceiling reaches 95 degrees, the controller turns the exhaust fan on to cool the airspace between the ceiling and the panels. This helps the panels to operate more efficiently. The exhaust fan also helps to cool inside the house. Now, Coming up here, you can see current state of charge, 100%. We've been sitting on anchor for about an hour and we've just uh, motored here. We were at 95% and now we're at back at 100%. And although this is an entryway to the, to the house, see that's the nice curtain from the other side. It's also the bathroom. So you got a nice composting toilet there. This is the microwave oven. We have a very nice microwave oven. I just said how the lake reflects in the window of the microwave oven. And then we have our inverter. And the inverter and the charge controller, which is talking between the solar panels and the lithium ion battery in this wooden case, which is about the size of a medium sized cooler. The lithium ion battery is a five kilowatt hour battery um, which is storing the charge from the solar panels when the power is not being used. And we always have some power being used right now because the refrigerator is always on and the inverter takes a small amount of power too. And we've got a thermometer. The thermometer indicates the temperature inside the battery case on the top 
and it, it, and it indicates the temperature inside the closet on the bottom. In addition, we've got a very nice toaster oven there and a trash can that works very well. In fact, you can even open it with your foot. That's our utility closet. So that was the kitchen, utility, closet, and bathroom. We have two storage benches to sit on with matching cushions. The storage benches fit over the wheel wells for the trailer that the tiny house was built on. We also have our work table that doubles as a dining table. And we have these lovely twin bunk beds in the back. Lots of storage area, 128 square feet, nine windows, Anderson windows. It's beautifully refreshing and cool in here right now. There's a nice breeze. Oh, look out the window. There's a sailor. <laughs> hey, sailor. Looking good. And that's our whole kitchen and house. And... I'm going to take you outside and come back and we're going to just check out the motor. Then we're going to call it a day. And that is the Torquedo electric motor right back in there. You can see the propeller. The red boat in the back is the double pedal kayak. That's the back of the house and the back of the pontoons. It's the last pontoon out there, right there. And that is our lovely day on Moosehead Lake. Here are our dining chairs. Okay, hope you enjoyed the tour of the tiny house and the tiny houseboat called Tiny Soul or Wake with the Sun. Hi, Claude. Hi, Carla. Nice sunny. What's that? The sun is up. Sun is up. Nice sunny day.